Hi, I'm Harry with Electronics Design and Development. We're located in Naples, Florida. That's right, beautiful, sunny Naples, Florida. I was asked by my friends at Intra Corporation, Intra, excuse me, Corporation, to uh, demonstrate something that I designed. It's called Power Line Communications, and we call the unit PC1. It's a technology that I designed about 10 years ago. Let me uh, go over a little bit about communications. This is a basic handheld handheld radio. It, when you key it up, it sends a signal, and you hear it sends a signal back, and it communicates two-way with a, with a thing called a repeater. Well, what we've done here is something a little bit different. This is called power line communications. What, what I've done is I've made radio modules, and that's what you see here. There's one radio module up inside here. You see it back there. That's a compressor motor. And then this is a control module that will show the power and the communications. And what I have here is a regular car battery, 12 volt car battery, and that's hooked up to a standard three-way outlet, just like in your boat uh, or your car. So, so what I'm going to do is uh, to demonstrate this is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the controller unit over here to the to the unit, and you see the light comes on. It's got 12 volts, and I'm going to plug in the uh, the pump over there, the compressor pump. And then I'm going to plug in another module that's the actual switch module. It has a little switch on it. Now what's going to happen is this. When I turn this switch on, the signal is going to travel through these wires, which is just power and ground, over to the pump module. And when that pump module gets a signal, it's going to send a signal back and turn this light on. Then once we know that we've communicated, I'm going to come over here to this module and I'm going to actually turn the motor on and off. Okay, as you can see it doesn't go on and off right now because it hasn't told that thing it's okay. So if we, if we turn this on, see how the red light came on? What happened there is this sent out a signal, bounce back, turn the red light on. Now when I come over here to the little switch, see how it turns on the pump? See the lights going dim? time I turn on the phone, it's all running off this car battery over here. But what this demonstrates is you can send signals to and from a module and then you can even control it with some other module. So in your boat or your car you could do things like dimming, you could turn on and off um, lights, like for instance we have a module here and if I hook this module up I would be able to turn this light on or off or I could dim this light, um, all through the different modules, all through just power and ground. That's the only connection that would be necessary. And in today's technology, I made this a long time ago, but in today's technology, you can actually get these modules as small as this right here. And this would be a good size to show you how, how small the modules could get. You could even get smaller than this, but but it, but it gets kind of costly to go even smaller than this right here. So once again, we demonstrate. Turns it on off. If I turn this off, see it, it told that shut off. So now when I push the button, you see it doesn't doesn't turn the light on anymore. It doesn't turn the, the pump on anymore. But if I turn this back on, turns it on and off. And this system can be put in any boat or car, and it travels very, very long ways. Um, right now, we're to demonstrate it. Uh, we have a close quarter, but you could, for instance, put a uh, <clears throat> light up on your flybridge and control it from the salon. Um, in your motorhome, you can put a light or something on the front of the motorhome and control it from the back of the motorhome without running any wires. It travels through the existing wires that are already in a vehicle that are basically your DC and you know your ground uh, positive and negative like we have here. Um, I can even take signals right off of the power right here and bring it into a computer and actually control all of this from a computer. So that's my demonstration. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for listening. See you later.